it, it, it all, they all came rushing in. So, Brian O'Shea, what do you have for us? Always a treat. There you are, out in the desert. Uh, who knows what you're up to? I'm not going to ask because it might be criminal. So go ahead, yeah. Brian O'Shea. <laughs> tell us what you're up to, solo layout. Oh man, what a what an honor! Thank you so much, Paul. Thanks for the to the panel. Thanks for all the chat. You guys are lovely, man. And I'm feeling a little bit weird because the cops took my weed last night, so I haven't smoked weed in about 12 hours, and I smoke about as much as Paul. So, oh my God, hold on a second. Let's Dude, let's have a pending. What the fuck? Let's let, let's have a all moment right, of silence tell us about this. That's allegedly. <laughs> Please, a moment of silence for Brian O'Shea. Um, again, policy enforcement has interfered and deprived a man of rights. Thank you, that man. There, there they are. They're bowing their heads in the in the prayer formation. We like that. That's a good visual. Um, but once again, a man has had his rights deprived. Uh, but of course, I'm sure it was for safety. You were probably doing something unsafe. Um, so a moment of silence for Brian O'Shea and his weed. Uh, it's a shame that he's had to go 12 hours without it. Uh, we hope that at some point in the future, a plant will bear fruit and bring forth more cannabis for Brian O'Shea <laughs> to enjoy uh, with peace and blessings. Amen. So. Uh, how did that go, Brian O'Shea? Were you hopefully you weren't in a white man um, doing doing less than reputable activities? Um, again, it, we don't mind if you want to let children jump up and down in your lap and rub your legs, and if you want to <laughs> sniff them, just don't do anything creepy, right? So we're gonna go back full screen. Tell us why uh, they deprived your rights for safety. What were you up to? What what kind of unsafe activities? Oh man, ah oh, man, I'm feeling I'm feeling bummed out, Paul, because. Uh... Just because I didn't, I, I thought about you so much, dude, during the whole, they fucking had me handcuffed for like an hour plus or something. And I just kept thinking, how would Paul do, like, what would Paul do? You know what I mean? Because when he first rolled up, I was at a fucking rest stop. You know what I mean? In the middle of, I was in Wyoming at a rest stop. <laughs> Damn. And, you know, my, and my plates are expired. And so he, he can't, I saw him like behind me and it was right after the stream too. Like right after I did my rap. So I was feeling myself. I was feeling real good and everything. I was about to twist one up. And uh, he fucking, I saw him behind me and then he went away and he came back and like, and then he came, next thing I know he's by my window, it's like with his nose All in right, the car. So now hold on a second, hold on. I'm piecing this together, right? I'm piecing this together. So, so you did your rap and then the feds immediately pulled you over and they charged you with performing horrible material. Isn't that correct? Because that's now a crime. It's now a crime in the state of Wyoming to perform rap material like that. So. They saw you performing. It's a, it's akin to like a bomb threat, right? You bombed on stage. You did it on a telephonic device. It was interstate. That made it the federal. The were so, so bad they had to bomb threat, right? Excuse they me for they talking. The gen and talking making they, one of the best they jokes. They trickled back on you. Made. No, I can hear you. I can hear you. I'm talking over you purposely. Thank you for stepping on one of the best jokes <laughs> that has been made all broadcast, if I may say myself. Your thoughts, Not Peter, bad. Nicholas, Peter, on that joke specifically. Just that joke. I'm going to go to you. Spin zone, uh, three seconds. I thought that was hilarious. I was cracking up. Thank, Thank you, you Nicholas, Peter, Argero, for being uh, on the spin zone. Um, um, talking points, uh, <laughs> thanks you. Talking points appreciates your presence. Talking points appreciates uh, your updates. Uh, so Nicholas, Peter, Argero, uh, thumbs up for that joke specifically. So back to Brian O'Shea, live action. Tell us more about what you were doing out in the middle of the desert. Um, uh, basically what I would describe as doing bomb threats uh, over a live video. Yeah, exactly, man. They heard some of my comedy terrorist threats, bombing. You know, it's all it's all it's all weird. You can't even make fun of the Jews now without being the anti Semitic charges. You can't like do total comedy without like terroristic charges. Right, it's weird out there. Safe. Yeah, I gotta anyways, stop you now because again you're getting extreme. You're talking about the crazy extremist type of language. Again, one thing we do have, we still have plenty of rights and freedoms and one thing you can do is get a small child have them jump up and down in your lap rub your legs and you can sniff them and whisper sweet not nothing's into their ear that's part of the build back better platform so uh, what I'm about sure. uh taking children with said or uh taking showers with said children absolutely that's on the table always a loving experience father daughter get together do a little bathing uh some folks would might say awkward and creepy i say that's love is love so again part of the build back better platform but please do not bring up our semitic uh brethren um you know out there in the desert region yeah. please don't do that yeah. because that'll immediately you know if you were a broadcasting professional you would know 
uh, you never talk about certain folks. There's certain folks you just don't talk about, and we're not even going to name them to say which ones they are to not talk okay. about. So please, easy on that, uh, Mr. O'Shea. We want to continue to have you get jobs in Hollywood, and that's not the way to do it, right? That's not that's not what you want to do. So tell us more about, uh, again, I keep asking you to tell us, and I don't know what happens. I just completely zone out and tune out, listen to nothing, and then try to figure out something funny to say. So please yeah. tell us more about what you're doing out there in the desert, why they're depriving you of rights. What were you doing that was unsafe? Yeah, I was, I was chilling in a, in a, in a uh, rest, rest thing, ready to, ready to nap it out after a long day of driving all day. And, uh, he sticks his nose in the window like a little, like a little hog, man. He, he was one of these cops that was just a nasty bastard, bro. Like he snuck his snout in my car, like sniffing around for weed and shit. Next thing you know, he, I, he's fucking. See, see, I should never gave him my ID and shit like this, but I was like, fuck it, I'll give him my ID. Maybe he'll just leave me alone. I'll, sm I'll roll up in a second here and it'll be over with. So I give him my ID. Next thing you know, he's like, uh, I smell weed. Fucking, can I search your car if you? If you don't let me search your car, I could just give you a citation right now. Or if I search it, I'm gonna get the weed and then I'm gonna I'm gonna arrest you. You know what I mean? So I'm just I, like, what up, bro? Huh? Can I can I put something out there? There's a product sold on the internet. Yeah. You can get it almost anywhere, but it is a bag that is made out of carbon and it's smell proof. It absorbs smell. Uh, bro, I just smoke the I'm same not, way that I'm just saying. Just you get these, you get these fucking order right. followers, and they want to put a gun in your face for you having a plant. But if you remove the smell of plant, you remove their inclination to fuck with you. Just saying, there's products out there, or like amber glass containers that are airproof. There's a thousand ways. Okay, to so mask. here's what I do, right? I'm not interested in all that nonsense. When the policy enforcer walks up, now this is some good information. When policy enforcer walks up and sticks their snout in my window, I immediately, like the Three Stooges, I put two fingers up their nostrils. I go two fingers right in the nostrils. This way they can't smell anything. And then if they go to saying, hey, we smell weed, I go, well, that's not possible because when you put your nose in here, I went two fingers right into the nostrils. So, again, that'll be on the court record. Uh, it doesn't usually go well. Uh, what happens after that but again uh, you have to think ahead for the court record forget about the beating uh, on scene forget about the tasing um, even possible mounting of your of your lifeless body right unconscious lifeless body so um, yeah I don't know just something you might want to think about Brian next time they stick their snout in two fingers right in the nostrils uh, and then prepare for the beating uh, he's gone he's gone oh uh, he's back <laughs> Your thoughts, Brian, on that on that stratagem? Uh, dude, I love that stratagem. I really wish I did that. <laughs> he, was, he crossed, like, he stuck his face in my car. He was one of these nasty fucking, just nasty motherfuckers, bro. And, I, and the whole time, too, while I was standing, he handcuffed me. You know what I'm saying? After I said, I, I, you can't search my car. He handcuffed hey, me. Hey, was he overweight? Nah, he wasn't really overweight. He was just a nasty motherfucker, bro. He had to be about 55, 60 but he just seemed like so into it, bro. Like he really wanted me to go to jail for weed. He was just a nasty bastard, bro. But what's weird about that is, is the whole time I'm Brian. trying to have his, yeah. Huh? Uh, I, I gotta ask. So are you saying that his his standard of excellency is far less than what is adequate for a law enforcement agent for his own health and wellness? No, oh. no, no, fuck all that, Because that Brian. seems like an what officer safety issue. You in? Brian, what yeah. state were you in? Absolutely. Is, what state so, were you in? This is the question. Wyoming. Wyoming, which made it worse. I think go. it's like <laughs> you were in a state. You done fucked up already. Yeah, controlled substances basically. Wyoming. It's like cocaine cool weed out in Wyoming. But uh so anyways, he's fucking searching my car and my car is filled with all types of bullshit, so he's just like looking like a fucking asshole, bro. I had literally a like five dollars worth of weed, five, ten bucks worth, of, a little nug left, bro. Cause I'm about to be at a spot where I'm gonna have unlimited weed tomorrow i'll be at a place where i got unlimited weed now so see this is what now see this is what you don't want to do is come on a broadcast and start announcing to everyone where you'll be and the fact that there will be unlimited weed around you. because yeah, that's my point. yes yes thing. i need to follow well, that uh that trail brian um if you could let me know your coordinates i i will make sure that i will not research that <laughs> and i will not worship the ground you walk on so I yeah, know, I do gotta turn that information shit. over to my trustee there. Um, he's got to do an investigation now because you went ahead and told us 
that you got truckloads of weed lying around. And of course, that's a violation of policy. So expect to get a visit uh, so we can keep everyone safe out there. Someone's yeah. echoing horribly. Uh, it's not working for me. Well, actually, my guy that I'm going to, he he's super generous, bro. So he gives away tons of shit and expect he gives away this RSO oil, which I love, which is an actual medicine. But he gives away, he gives away flour, bro. I'm telling you, he gives shit away. I'll tell you, I'll link you, he because he's giving a lot of stuff away, bro. I'll link you Why guys don't up. Why don't you go ahead and give that person's first and last name, if you can, exact location Dude. and possible pedigree, background information, right? Whoever's giving away all this. This Dude. stuff, I'm sure that they're just thrilled right now watching you on here talk about it. So please, I know, that's what go I was thinking, ahead, but tell us who this crazy. He he's in a he's in a lot of other live streams from other people, and he he just says it, bro. He puts his his phone number right on there. It's like anyone needs needs it, hit me up. He's and dude, he fucking hooks a lot of people up for free, bro. It's crazy, but uh, okay, well, um, oh so God. he's like Rick Ross, you know, he's got two phones. Oh uh, no, that's Kevin Gage. Two phones, one for the plug. Uh, one for the load. He's pushing. He, he's got it all figured out. Get on the internet. Tell everyone that you got reefer and come on down, right? To giveaway. So, uh, good luck with that. I'm sure that that'll go well. I'm sure that there's no way yes. you could find yourself in any kind of issues with that. Um, it is just a plant or herb after all. So, I'm totally for it. Um, what, what else do you have for it? Yeah. I just want to say that. That's would you like to get out this man's Facebook? <laughs> what about his Facebook? No, but this Rick Simpson. What is Facebook in the chat so everyone can get on over there and get get uh, what they need? Trust me, bro. He's cool get, with it. He's cool me, with it. Trust me. If he starts, if he's into you, he'll be in your chat putting out his phone number, bro. Trust me. He's yeah, done you it. Go. Bring him on in. I would love that. That would be exciting. Please, please take us home. The man saluting. Anytime I see a salute, I immediately <laughs> it's like it's like a dog. It's like a dog whistle. As soon as I see one hand go up, I immediately do. It. I don't even know what we're saluting. But that's it. I saw the hand go up, and again, I'd even think. So please, let's go around the room. I keep saying final thoughts, and more people wind up here. Uh, I don't know how that's happening. Um, I just don't have the heart to not pull them up, right? I'm a man of the people. I don't say that. Other people say that. Uh, so Brian O'Shea, please take us out. Final thought. Make it brief. I don't even smoke. <laughs> uh, yeah, just to let you guys know, uh, the... So what that what they ended up giving me was he fucking gave me a citation. I didn't even sign anything, but he's like, he's like, you got to show up to court in October here in Wyoming. You know what I mean? Like, but here's a phone number and he's like, blah, blah, blah. So I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do about that. But final thoughts, uh, man, I just want to say thank you, Paul. Thank you once again to everyone in the stream and in chat. Uh, I was thinking about it earlier today because Moose, shout out to Moose. Uh, he was talking about how, you know, like me and you were bonding, me and you, Paul, and then me and Moose, you know, me and everyone in chat, but like, cause I was going to, like, I, I feel like one day I'm going to get all emotional up on here, bro. I'm going to be trying to like say how much I uh, appreciate you guys or anything. I'm going to just start crying, bro. I know it. Cause, uh, you want to cry for us here today because that is in fact good content and, and I would actually appreciate that. So if you want to go ahead, let it flow. Um, you can always come back later and say that it was award-winning acting, right? Cause you are in fact a stage professional so go ahead let it flow uh stella adler method right you studied the method i'm sure yeah again uh, stellar timing for the for the young gentleman the new gentleman on the panel he's got an eye for comedic timing the gentleman down below the latino fellow he's definitely got an ear and an eye for comedic timing he's right in the worst place possible so please go ahead mr brian o'shea take us on out final thought yeah, he's like thinking, I was saying, he's, he's Moose, thinking, and with you, and what I was, what was, the point I was trying to get to was like, I feel like there's true friendships. Like you were bringing up community. Yeah, man, true community. Uh, people have written books on community. This guy Gregory M. Peck, I think his name is, he wrote this awesome book. We'll talk about it later. But he wrote, he was, all, he was like, the main problem in America is lack of community. And I think that what <laughs> you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> and what we got going on here is that we are sorry, I just I couldn't hear you, Brian, over the over the fries. The fry yeah, later in the back. You, I think the fries are ready. If someone wants to pop those out, um, we can get those stacked up and get these customers served. So uh yes, we all we all see that. Next year, running for president. I should run for president and, and you will vote for me, in fact. You will write me in. I've now no, my I have 
My blood's running for president. Look. Oh, the blonde is running for president. Fascinating, sir. Continue, Brian O'Shea. Uh, take yeah. us on out. I didn't mean to interrupt. It's just uh, I, it was hard to hear you over the friolator. <laughs> no problem, man. Yeah, I just want to say the last thing is that uh, so this guy wrote this book, Gregory M. Peck. He also wrote a different book, but we'll get into that later. But uh, in this book about community, he was saying there's four stages, right? And in the last stage, the fourth stage is when everyone gets really honest. That's what makes a great community is when there's like no fucking secrets, basically. You know what I mean? But it's hey, like we uh, appreciate you, Brian. Yeah, Absolutely, Brian. Yeah. Yeah, we you, see you it. Sure we see the change. We're being the change. We see it. All right, so go ahead. Who else do we have on the panel? Uh, Brian, that was your final word. Uh, I expect I can't take you off right now because I have powers on full silver screen mode. Uh, he's, in fact, smoking hey, cannabis, and I want to make sure everyone can I, see that. Yes, go ahead. Paul, I know what Towers is doing. You know how what everybody, is uh, everybody drinks a 40 and pours it out for their homies? Well, uh, Towers is doing that for Zach. Oh, okay, I see. So that's some kind of ritual where... Um, yeah, I got it. Okay, so can we go we, ahead? Who's who's, now like, who's, still up here? who's still up here, trustee? I know you're back there. I know you can. Can, can you see? Or are you seeing what I'm seeing? No, you're seeing what I'm know. seeing. Of course, that's how it broadcast oh, works. That makes sense. Donation, we, we definitely um, got some donations down there. Oh, there's donations. There's contributions. Uh, please, if you if you can, uh, please direct all that to the third party. Uh, scrolling donation channels. If Monday possible. night at the movies. Mr. Mr. Brian O'Shea, you're you're a hit with the ladies out there right now. Sir, hopefully did you, that. Did you <laughs> right, transport ahead, your cannabis in a fucking <laughs> tissue and clean Yes, that's right. A piece of tissue paper because <laughs> everyone knows out on the street when you're used to being in prison. You carry your weed in your rectum, Thomas. And in order to not get fecal matter on. The cannabis, it's important yeah, to wrap it in a tissue. We're learning it. here. We're learning. Look at it. <laughs> Get a good Sir, focus on that. Smoke lotion. Stuff. Get a good Dude. focus on that. Really. These are one of the younger viewers that we need that needs us, Thomas. Do you understand that? <laughs> that he needs it. daddy real bad. That, that, that he he needs us. He needs our support. He needs the good word. This man needs Jesus. I might even go ahead. And say, I don't this normally recommend that, Jesus. but this man might need G Jeebus. Jeebus is what it is. So, um, uh, Rachel says better than Monday night at the movies, uh, and she loves Brian. So there you go. Uh, feel free. This this does double as a dating game from time to time. So whether it's Mister uh, Powers here on the full silver screen treatment, if you want to go ahead, uh, strike your best pose, Mister Towers. There it is, bad boy, bad boy. Uh, what you gonna do um, when that wrinkly skin comes for you and those tattoos completely change, right? A little bit of a different take on the bad boys anthem, still kind of the same idea, but for now it's a good look for you. The ladies are loving it. They're in the chat, they say they love it. They're, they're seeing your moves. Um, there it is, uh, <laughs> float like a butterfly, sing like a bee. Uh, we have tower. a long way to go with this man. Oh we God. do, but but in the meantime, it's going to be plenty of entertainment. So just sit back, boys, strap in, and let Daddy do what he does. So, uh, <laughs> Mr. Towers, drive your best. <laughs> thank you, oh thank you, thank God. you. Uh, uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate the the laughter, all two or three of you. Oh, um, man. Always I've been muted for the past five minutes. I've been dying here. All right, so strike your best pose one time, Mr. Power, for the ladies, because you're immediately going to get a flood in your inbox. That's what happens. Ask Mr. Brian O'Shea. He came on here. I gave him the silver screen treatment, and he was immediately flooded, right? Flooded in the inbox. So there it is. Um, Hollywood Towers, bright smile, uh, pussy tail. We love him. We appreciate him. Uh, oh, God. Back to, back to Brady Bunch. Back to the Brady Bunch. Uh, here's a story. Uh, some slavery. You with me, Thomas? Are you with me? You look. You look generally excited, enthralled, and confused all at the same time. You have you have two, three, four expressions on your face. Uh, it might just be that that tissue weed kicking in. That that weed that you carry around and tissue papers kicking in. Thomas, is that the case? Um, that could be it. 
That's it. And he's got some like strobe light or something <laughs> going on over there. No, uh, it's you know that's Thomas himself. He emanates light, right? He emanates light, so that he is in fact a, a human version of a disco globe, sort of a strobe light. That's him emanating light. Don't look for it in the background. You can see it. Um, that's his aura. <laughs> Go ahead, Thomas. Please, final words. Uh, make it brief if possible. I need some more caloric intake to keep this monstrous machine going. I gotta lubricate the the, the wheel. I'm gonna explain the lights because, uh, like, if you live in Europe versus if you live in America, the camera shutter speed versus the frequency of the light, it, they need to sync up, or it's gonna seem like everything's in motion. And I'm using a uh, camping direct current lamp that probably is low on battery, so the frequency that it's pushing is probably fucking with the camera shutter speed. But uh, yeah, that's all it is. I saw what you did there. That cricket in the background hey. wanted to make noise. It made a little noise. You looked over at it and checked it, and it stopped. I saw what you did right there. Uh, you gave Thomas. that cricket the look. Yeah, the cricket was listening to the camera. Said. Thomas knows. I don't science. know what's happening. Thomas believes. I don't know what's happening. It's a free for all up here at this point, Thomas. We're degenerating. So, hail Fauci, um, hail Biden. All right. So let me let let me let Mr. Uh, Towers. No, actually, I like Mr. Tower. I was going to let him go. Cause he keeps talking over me but then when i see him on camera uh he's so endearing to me i just can't let him go so i'm gonna keep him up there we're gonna go to you that's thomas thomas can i let you go do you mind if i let you go for now all right we're gonna go around the room let everyone go uh julian please and then nicholas no i'm gonna go to nicholas we've heard from you already julian we haven't heard from nicholas uh nicholas don't mind uh, I have to go back to mr towers just some way something about the way he holds that camera and films himself uh I, I can't get enough, right? This is the good stuff. This is the good content. This is why we come here. So go ahead. Um, give us what you got. Oh, uh, so, yeah. With, with uh, oh, Towers, he was just giving you the screen, but he was giving me the, the floor to talk. Oh, oh my bad. <laughs> no, but I was actually going to talk about what your story about work. So, like, we want to view you while Nicholas talks. So if you can just try to be as quiet. That's what we do over here sometimes. I'm going to mute. I'm going to mute. That, 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 that's good. That's good. So... So what we do with new folks sometimes is we give them the silver screen treatment, um, uh, see you know if they can get used to the silver screen, right? Because some folks are intimidated. So we give them that treatment. It's 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 an exercise for them. It gets them comfortable being on camera over here. So go ahead, Nicholas. We're gonna view Mr. Towers while we uh, hear from Nicholas. Sounds great. Yeah, Towers. I was gonna comment on your story from work. I uh, I know what it's like to be you know taken advantage of financially you know people can sense that about you that you you have a caring heart and you're willing to you know just you don't even know the guy you barely even knew him and you were just like you had no problem helping him out because you know what goes around comes around you're just trying to do you know something generous because you want to and it feels good for yourself and it's just ridiculous how people can just turn on a dime and then start talking shit like that it's really embarrassing but yeah paul, what paul was saying about that and make the comments he was making were very true you gotta have discernment and especially boundaries definitely have to have boundaries and just know when you know just know when it doesn't feel right like i like i told paul when i was on here a couple of days ago how i was taken advantage of by a friend and uh he owes me like 600 bucks haven't gotten a single penny for four months and it's just you know i paid 650 dollars to get him out of my life like they say in the bronx tale so it's really embarrassing but it doesn't don't let that you know change how you behave and in, in general like your principles and the way you are I think it's very important not to get so, you know, so much backlash from doing the right thing that you just stop doing it. I think it's good to still have that caring mindset. But uh, yeah, just discernment is very important. And uh, who's the one in the, with the nice hair? Someone was saying that you should let it flow because all the ladies are loving it. Man, the ladies are just they're one? digging oh, to yeah. the show. <laughs> ladies are very, very into this that show. Is in fact, that is, in fact uh one of the members of the band uh i'm stalling for time because the name escapes me but uh, the it, band it is workout person from the 80s not to be mistaken with no 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 the band uh the man Isaac from the band, uh um that did mbop do you remember mbop Oh yeah, all, all, remember, all of showing my age, showing my age. Most of your songs. Hanson, Hanson, that's it. The good people in the chat got it. Hanson, that's Isaac from Hanson, of course. We have many stars on here. Liam Neeson, we had on today. 
Isaac from the uh, band Hanson. A lot of you 90s, 90s, early 2000s may remember that. Um, how is the drumming going lately? The drumming. I think he was the drummer. If I oh. remember correctly. Yeah. Going just as well as it was before. No, but like most of your music references, I'm sorry to say, they really do go over my head. They're just before my time. So I'm like, I'm barely out of that 18 to 25 group. I'm the, the 26 year old. So hey, he's all, who is that two pack you speak of? Yeah, who is <laughs> two pack, two pack shacker or something like that? I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm okay. so there's like, like Robin C said, there's only 46 people watching. Three of them got the Hanson reference. But that's all we need here, right? It's not for everybody. Not everything hits. Um, they're not all winners, right? That's that's the risk of of comedy. If you ask Mr. Brian O'Shea, he will tell you firsthand experience. So please, final words, Julian. I don't mean to keep uh, belaboring no. this and, and and drawing it out. It's it's my fault. I'm doing it. I keep saying final words, and I final keep words. drawing it out. So <laughs> and final people, words. for some reason, will always keep watching it. So. No, they won't. They're not coming back. They're not following. That's what they keep telling me, especially as abrasive as I am and verbose. Uh, it's not happening. So while it, while this is fleeting and leaving us, right, it's all crumbling. It's going away. So before it all crumbles and goes away, please, final words. Thanks again, friends. Like, uh, what a cool place to be. And uh, thanks, Paul. It's a, good, it's a good place to be able to meet people and learn a lot. And, and I'm not you, but I'd say donate, right? Well, I mean, like, again, it's not really a donation. All I'm going to do with it is probably load up on something like bananas, four-ply toilet paper, and uh, bullets, I guess. I, I don't fucking yes. know. Why, why even give yeah. me the money? You For protection, of course. Protection. I don't need it. Well, that's the thing. Why give you the money... Right, but but I'm the other... irresponsible slave who's just I'm not as smart as the guys, you know. And that's the thing, right? Is that right? Thing. I'm no 5D chess player. Okay, exactly. We need it sent to the Donnie Chimp campaign. There you go. All right, so Moose is on it, my trusty. Relax, Moose. You don't have to shake everybody down who comes in. <laughs> not every single. <laughs> Guest, right? It's always good to try to like rustle up some contributions for the campaign. But please, I know that we used to work with the construction mob back in the day. We're used to shaking down folks daily. But uh, here on the broadcast, we like to at least keep the veneer of some kind of a heroic, brave patriotism. So we never beg, we never force, we definitely don't shake down every single uh, guest who comes on here. Um, your throat, you're okay. There you are. You're back. My um, phone's dying. So. I, I got to bounce. Kick me out, player. Okay, so yeah, you got to go. I'm not going to, you know, why you would come on here with no ba phone battery. Ridiculous. I, gotta <laughs> let you go. uh, yeah, I had to get him out of here. I had to get him out of here. Uh, he's cluttering up the place. So, um, again, so again um, where was I, Moose? Refocus me, please. Oh, that's right. Shaking everyone down. So I yeah, would never. We're, we're not shaking anything. everyone down anymore. Sure, but as that man said, right? That man said he can't really be trusted with what he has, and he's probably not as smart as the rest of the brave men, heroes, and patriots. So I suspect uh, at his earliest convenience, he will be turning over basically his whole estate uh, to me uh, in the name of Donnie Chim campaign and the brave work that we're doing here. Again, selflessly, uh, we don't stop. We don't stop. We're going on like six, seven hours a day now, every day, daily. Uh, the only way we do that, of course, pills, powder, supplements, and Pepito's Patriot Blend coffee, right? And again, <laughs> all right. So um, apparently, someone someone finds the list of products uh, humorous. I don't know why that would be. Um, again, if I can just um, beautiful, inspiring uh, little Mexican fellow. Little Mexican uh, migrant slave boy, uh, Pepito, working hard out there, uh, serving all you brave, brave patriots, capitalists, making America ape again. Uh, of course, Pepito wishes for you to buy stuff now, says it right there. Um, obviously, that there's no way that that could be uh, falsified, that image right there. It's much like 
uh, NASA's galaxy. There's absolutely no way that that could be uh, falsified. So Pepito says right there, he's sending you all a message. Buy stuff now. Support Ape America. Uh, God bless Pepito, uh, the other migrant slaves. We salute your bravery. So, um, and again, don't concern yourself with Pepito's legal immigration status or the tax money or the part of Mexico that we harvest those beans that is at war and we're not supposed to be there. None of that matters because, uh, again, part of the neocon way, the American platform is, we only really follow policies uh, that benefit us. The ones that don't like interfere with us making money and profit, we just kind of ignore those. Because uh, again, I couldn't, all right, let's just be real. I'm a fucking hero up here. I couldn't get you the Patriot brand, right? N Nicholas is, he's nodding his head because he gets the struggle, right? I couldn't bring you these amazing life-saving products if we didn't cut some corners, okay? I'm not going to lie to you. So forget about Pepito's immigration status. I don't want any more emails on that, okay? Forget about the illegal shipments of coffee beans. Uh, we have to make a living. A man's got to eat, okay? So again, Pepito thanks you. I'll be the first one to tell you he won't because, again, he doesn't speak the language, and we prefer it that way. This way he can't tell anyone what's happening. Reminds me of an old joke, right? An old joke, Brian O'Shea. Uh, will be a fan of, of some material like this. Uh, somebody raped a parrot, uh, and I told them, why would you rape the only animal that could tell somebody about it, right? You got to you gotta think smart in this life. There's plenty of animals. Uh, if you're going to rape one, don't rape one. That could tell other people about it. So old joke, uh, not for everybody. Feel free, Brian O'Shea. Use that in your next. Uh, Mr. Towers seems to like that. Mr. Towers, um... I'm not allowed to unmute you. You could you mute it, but that's good. That's good. Guys, I'm about to tell the neighbor my story, bro. Let's see what he has to say. You're, so now you're going to go over and just walk up on the neighbor. So, no, no, no. no. So I'm going to come back to okay, you. So, Tell him what up, blood. Okay, so, so what now you're going to make it it is, your problem like, his problem. What we call the powers is... Uh, you are somebody who's throwing rocks at the penitentiary and begging to get in. That's what we call that on the street. So uh, leave the neighbor alone, please. You're already, um, I'm sure, making him feel a bit uneasy and unsafe. You have tattoos on your hands. Uh, you're smoking cannabis. Uh, you might present a threat to whoever that, oh, he's got the neighbor. He's on the neighbor's, yeah, that, oh, that's the police. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. who is that? <laughs> Unmute yourself. Let's hear from that person. Let's hear from that being. Um, right, final words. Are they in fact robbing you right now? Is that person robbing team? you right now? All right, bro. So I told Please them the story, me. so I was like, I'm going to tell the Navy, right? So, okay, I was working for two weeks. Like, you seen me. Just started work, right? Wait, okay. we, we want to listen to what's true on, on their heart. We want to listen to your friend. Hold on. Guess, we don't want to listen to the story again. He doesn't want to be filmed, though. Man. We well, want to hear well, from that man. Yeah, he said tell no him camera. A, tell him he's on a breaking uh, Turn media the camera drive off platform. Listen, listen to him. <laughs> He's going to jump away from Kanye West. Tell him that and he'll... Right, let me get, okay, let me get who's going to turn that down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir, do you have warrants? Is that why you don't want to be filmed? You have warrants, don't you? If you do... Um, All right, look, I'm just going to tell him, guys. Did he give you the nod? If he gave you the nod, he's got warrants and I get it. I totally get it. Um, we've yeah. all been there. Okay, so I go, I go, bro. Three weeks only, right? Um, he's always saying like little shit here and there, like an ignorant. Hold on a second. Are you telling him the best the story fuck? ever that you told us I'm earlier? I'm telling him the same story I told you, dog. Oh, the, the best story ever. Okay, go, go ahead and retell that because I don't know if everyone heard and saw that earlier. So yeah, tell him that, and we're gonna get. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I don't want you to go ahead. Tell the story. That's what I'm saying. It's it's, the, it's what I now consider. One of the best stories ever. We learned a lot. Um, and I want yeah, to reach so, out. So go ahead and like tell I him. Said, three, three weeks. I just barely started. It was out of work for a year. I worked for the union, electrician's union. I worked. I, I was out of work for a year. Halfway through, unemployment finally kicked in. I'm going to be honest with you. 100% truth right here, baby. What's up? It's all truth. Got, it, got unemployment halfway through. Halfway through. Right? 
I had to fight for five months before it just popped out of nowhere when I gave up. I was like, okay, so that's not going to work. You know what I mean? No, tell him. Tell him. We want to watch you tell him the story. He's standing right there watching you talk to the camera. That's the truth. No, I'm going to tell you the truth. I've been telling you the truth. Anyways, three weeks in. He says, like, little dumb shit here and there, but we're professionals, bro. If you want to fight, we can go fight off the job, nigga. Like, this is no fucking, like, playtime. Like, this is this is me feeding my family type of shit. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Professional, and besides the point, I'm working. Last Tuesday, I finally say something to him. Not even finally, but, like, he says... He no, says, tell the truth. You said, what's up, blood? And he punched you in the face. That's what I got from it. Tell the truth. <laughs> Go ahead and tell it. I know you don't want to tell it. He said you were, you he were said. throwing gang lingo around, and he 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 did he did the Snoop Dogg on you. No, no, I, I, wouldn't do that, you. I wouldn't do that. First of all, anyways, so anyways, I I called him what he called me one time, only one time, just one time. I promise you. And one time. what did he do? And what did he do? He punches me in the face, but that's not the part that I was trying to tell you. This is the part that I'm trying to tell you. Nah, that was the week that the I met him. Part. Hold the on a second. We didn't hear this much. The week that okay. I met him, bro, he asked me. He asked. He was gonna ask the foreman for money, bro. And the foreman left before before he could ask him, right? So me leaving, like I'm like, oh, I think he's gonna ask me already, you know? Like, so I'm gonna get ahead of him and be like, all right, like you, need, you still need that money because I could already tell he's like trying to work up the courage. You know what I mean? And then I give him, I have I have like two 20s and two 50s. And I'm like, you know what? I'm feeling generous, you know? And then, and then I give him the 50. I give him the 50. And then next week, on Friday again, the next, a uh, full week goes. Next week, I give him, I'm like, you know what? I'll just give him 50 so I could call it 100 even and I know in my head, I can remember it. It's 100. I give him 50. First time, and guess what I gave him the second time? 50. And then he was like, you good, bro? You good? And I was like, yeah, nigga, like, we work together. Like, like I'm not going to see you, you know? Like, come on, bro. Like, we work together. Like, we literally all day work together. And how you going to do me like that? Someone that helped you out when you told me that you can't even afford your fucking house. Nigga. Like, what the fuck? See what I'm saying? And then I got fired for that shit. Well, Why am I getting now, fired man. for getting punched in the face, homie? Thomas. He's, hey, sorry, Towers. This guy's Thomas, man. He's a fucking problem. Every time I bring him up here, he's like talking over your story. We didn't even hear this part earlier, man. And I don't know what his deal is, man. Keep going because, uh, yeah. No, I, that's I, it, I, bro. But I would never do that to you, bro. Like, if, if you're going to do that to me, then tell me on the side, nigga. Like, we can box outside. Like, be professional. Like, don't fucking try to break our fucking work fucking flow, nigga. Like, come on. That's our, now I have no money because of that. And I was out of the work for a, that's the problem. That's the problem, bro. I haven't been at work for a year. And you're going to well, take that now, shit. I got to tell you, uh, the good news is you're now Towers, a social media star. You're, you're, you're up and coming. You're on a meteoric rise because you are being broken on this platform. So go ahead, give your cash app and information so folks can go ahead send you I over do it some for the love, baby. I do it for the love. <laughs> so you don't even want, so you don't even want people's money. You do this strictly. Again, another man of no, purpose. No, I want their money, but I'm not going to take it. Okay, hey. so, so that's um, okay, so that's very upstanding of you. It's very upstanding of you. Um, you might be homeless soon. You don't have a job. Hey, best question I was going to ask my neighbors though before he even walked up. Do you got any papers? Oh, uh, <laughs> we dry. Yeah, but what, wait, nobody has papers. Your girl doesn't smoke anymore. Dang. Hey, so what is uh, no, what is this? They're making fun of me for having a napkin. Hey, so what is what is neighbor saying? <laughs> I got this napkin, bro. <laughs> but you see so how they they fucked me up? Yeah. Like, it, nah, I, I'm, I was just gonna tell you, bro. Like, I've been in like feeling well and shit. You got scared for it, bro. People gonna come and try to fuck with you regardless. Now I gotta get a lawyer. I gotta go to the unit. I gotta fucking. T- I gotta go act like my nose is broken and shit. I gotta be like, I'm getting headaches, headaches. Hey, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. You were just talking for a while there. Neighbor was trying to drop some good game on you. You just talked right over him. That was rude. He's not done. 
Oh, he, he was giving you some. Him. It was the homie right here. He was giving you some good game though. You cut him right off. You're you right. Might be you're the right. next member of the panel, man. <laughs> Neighbor, what do you got for us? I know you can hear me. Uh, we're not seeing you. In case, again, folks may have warrants. We all been there. Um, so you will just go by neighbor for now. Uh, no visual. But <laughs> what do you think about, A, the story and the fact that this man, you just let him talk for at least five to ten minutes. And then when you went to give him the good game, he just cut you right off. What do you think about both of those things, no, neighbor? No, honest, you got, honest, you got to spit honest. Bro. So regardless, right, shit happens. So you got to be able to adapt to the bullshit that happens in life. So, the most important part is for my brother, my neighbor right here, is to stay focused and find a way to level up. Because it don't really make sense just dwelling on the bullshit situation for too long. You know, it happened. So, priority as always, as a man, is to just take it on the chin, learn from it, and Amen. I keep moving. That's the best thing I could say. Because if it was me, I would be pissed off. I would be frustrated for sure. Um, but then I would want somebody to tell me, like, let's keep it moving. I got opportunity for you. This is the opportunity. And let me keep it moving. So that's how I look at it. So focus on yourself and learning more yeah. so that you don't find yourself in these same situations. So would you say you have a spiritual practice neighbor as far as like, you know, because again, you, I, I'm detecting a little bit of an accent. Obviously, I'm going to go with Jamaican. Um, <laughs> is, there, is there some kind of Rastafari background there? Is there some kind of spiritual ethic and practice principle? Where yeah. do you get your, your sense hey, of on, God? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yo, he's, getting, he's getting the call, guys. We're interrupting his shit right now. He just pulled up on, on like, he just pulled up next, like, in front of me. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't think to call uh, neighbor is definitely not David neighbor's definitely not taking a call for a truckload of cannabis he's definitely not doing that that's one thing we know he's not doing um and he, he definitely doesn't have warrants he came back all right so uh he's back now yeah he's, he's talking he's talking all right so for legal purposes we're gonna we're gonna go back out let me know when when neighbor's off the phone uh, we don't want yeah, sure. we, we don't want the unfortunate circumstances. To he just wants to, you don't have to stay here. Just go no, ahead. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I just had a quick phone call. All right, and definitely not a truckload of cannabis being delivered, right, neighbor? Definitely not what that is. <laughs> Negative. Yeah. Okay, of course. Uh, so you seem like a very wise man. Uh, where do you get your spiritual background and your guidance? Where do you derive that from? Um. Uh, Honestly, just that's my foundation. I feel like, I feel like we all come from, we all come from God. Whether you want to call it God, creation, universe, whatever. I feel like that's where I get it from. But I also cultivate it on a daily basis. So it's not just that I think that we come from God, but I also see the signs on a daily basis like spiritual yeah like watching the sunrise watching the sunset um seeing the birds just nature in general you know trees growing like that comes from somewhere i don't know where the fuck it coming from but it comes from somewhere so because i have that understanding and i you know i do i do specific things to help me stay focused like fasting and exercising and meditating, whatever. So, okay, so staying active, keeping your mind active, keeping your body active, staying focused on yourself, yeah, what you're creating. Sure. It's always the same idea. It's always the same message. That's why I could walk up on neighbor and we're going to resonate, right? Because uh, we're living the same truth, uh, the same conceptualization, and it doesn't matter if we don't get it from the same place. Uh, one truth and one self, right? I am that am. So, um, yeah, this is again Rastafari principle. It's all the same uh, Wait, ideology. I think I think he wanted to know you. Oh, uh, I am from Barbados, which is in the Caribbean. It's close to Jamaica, but it's not Jamaica. Oh, but... he was right there. You said you said no, Barbados. I wasn't right. Barbados is Barbados is yeah. It's, it's like saying no, you said Rastafari. Uh, 
but you, he said Jamaica's right next to them, so it has no, to be. Yeah, right. yeah. But Rastafari is more like a, a liberty. It's not oh, really. Oh, it's not like Rastafari that. Rastafari is like how you have like Muslims or Christians or. Oh, uh, yeah, it's or, things. Or, but you said they're next to each other. Yeah, but Rastafari isn't specific to Jamaica. Oh, like it's like it's not a, physically, like you're yeah. saying spiritually. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, so okay. it's just a it's just a way of living. My bad. My like, bad. No, nah, it's all good. The like, whole you got Muslims and so he US, calls like, it he calls it he India. calls it right. You call it liberty, right? Yeah, it's a liberty, not a religion. Because <laughs> the religion is more like you have to you have to go to like a building. Sure, it's, a, it's mind control versus a lifestyle, right? So liberty yeah, would be equivalent to our lifestyle. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's oh, how we look shit. at it, yeah. Savage. All right, so yeah. we're united in purpose and meaning and truth. We're united in co-creation. We're united in values. We're united in perception and concept. And that's exactly how uh, this stimulation works, right? I am that am. Self is self. There is only one self. Um Self co-creates and gets desirable results, or self co uh, creates and gets undesirable results in order to, to yeah. figure out how to learn and grow, right? So, um, say, go ahead. No, I was agreeing with you. I was saying basically that's how I look at it. Like, um, it's all about self improvement, self reflection, and staying focused on being disciplined because distractions are everywhere. I know that personally. Distractions are everywhere. So I try to minimize distractions and stay focused as much as possible. Absolutely. Later so, now, boys. so do you find yourself a lot of your time <laughs> for, do you find yourself a lot of time with yourself, even though what I just said, if you were with other people, you'd still be with self. So you you're with self yeah. either way. But do you 100%. find yourself what folks call alone, right? In solitude, or are you constantly out? Do you have a large group of friends? Um, uh, yeah, constantly in solitude, for sure. That's how I start my days. Like I said, I watch the sunrise. I just got back from work. I watch the sunset after work. Um, even if I might be at work, I might take like two minutes just for myself to, to breathe, to reprioritize so yeah solitude is vital for my growth like I, I can't I cannot move forward if I am constantly investing in other people whether that is being with people or on social media nothing against social media but there's too much of it isn't good for me so I need to fast from it sometimes Sure, sure. So, all right. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, this is good. We might have to get a new, a new segment going. Um, what what is this? Like Tuesdays with Maury. It's Tuesdays with Neighbor. So we might have to call <laughs> Neighbor over uh, every Tuesday. Hey, we can never show of, him though. We can't show him. Though. No, that's that's part of the marketing. The genius we're marketing. Gonna put him over. He's he's gonna be over and we're gonna look at him like this. <laughs> oh, like Boy Meets World. You won't remember that, but that's for my 35 to 55. <laughs> Neighbor on Boy Meets World. You only ever saw... No, it's, it's uh, Tim the Tool Man. It's Home Improvement. It's Tim the Tool Man. Yeah. No, I think oh, it was... Home okay, yeah, you're, right. Home I, yeah. you're right. It's Home Improvement. I messed up. You caught me there. Uh, Mr. <laughs> the guy that was selling drugs? <laughs> Well, no, Mr. Feeney was Boy Meets World, and you definitely saw him. So one of them, you only saw the top of his head. That's a good, that that's a good skit. We're stealing, we're stealing material again, right? The neighbor oh, over the fence. It was him, the bull man. That's who <laughs> All right, so final words, neighbor, since you're the newest <laughs> member. Calling, calling uh, the, since you're the newest contributor, uh, a member of the panel, um, anonymous as you are, doesn't matter, still a member of the family and community. Please go to Paul Unslaved on YouTube and join Neighbor on your own time. Uh, be a part of the community. Of course. This is marketing and branding, right? They tell me I, I get all neighbors to come over, right? Especially if they're as respectful and honorable uh, and enlightened as, as this being, it would be a pleasure uh, uh, to have him with us. So, uh, Tuesdays with Neighbor, that's the new segment. Final words, Neighbor, take us on out. And then I'm going to let you and Mr. Towers go. Go ahead, Neighbor. Yeah, I would just say, um, stay focused. I don't know who's in this room. I don't know what's 
necessarily going on right now, but I walked into this interaction, so I would just say whoever listening to just stay focused, figure out what you need to focus on, and cut the bullshit and eliminate distractions as much as possible and be a good person. Put yourself first, though. And, and would, would you say also, would you say vanquish the enemies of truth using the word? Some would call it the word of God, but eternal truth in spoken form, vanquishing the enemies of truth? I would say pay attention to what you call an enemy. That's what I would say. I feel like... No, an enemy of truth. Not an enemy of me, an enemy of truth. I don't have any enemies in this realm, right? I have no yeah. opposition. The only enemy is the enemy of truth. All right, perfect. So thank you yeah. enemies of truth, right? Perfect. Yeah, I agree. Stay focused. Pay attention to what is truth on all levels. And anything anything that isn't truth, then you got to figure out what to do with that information. But I would say, yeah, pay attention to what is truth. Your sun rises every day. The sun sets every day. We know that that is true. We know that it's coming from somewhere. We got an endless supply of oxygen for some reason. So I would say... If you're struggling with spirituality, start there and try to figure out like how did like <laughs> like what's the reason for us being here, right? Because something Perfect. has to happen for all of us to be where we at today, right? Man and woman had to come together. The sperm had to swim to the egg. So we made it through the hardest part of our life if you look at it that way. And then we was able to we was able to to be born nine months later and now we're here. So focus on what you need to focus on and fulfill your purpose. That's what I would say. All right. Well, we like that. We're going to let you go, neighbor. We appreciate you. Uh, sure. Continue to come create, inspire with himself and bring that into the community as you're obviously doing, counseling this young man uh, through his hard time. So we appreciate you, Towers. We appreciate you, neighbor. Uh, we look forward to having you back anytime. Open door policy. Uh, right, I'm going to let sure. you in. Time All right. Sure. Stay blessed. All right. Bless. All right. So, um, and then there were two. Mr. Urgero. We're going to try a different way to say it. I said Urgero last time. It's Urgero. I'm putting a little, put a little something on that G there. Urgero. So, Nicholas Peter Urgero, uh, please take us on out full silver screen because uh you are an example of a man who comes on uh you're well put together right but you are not an example of the shaitan deceiver right you are clean cleanliness is next to godliness uh you are well put together you're well spoken you're polite you're honorable you're humble um might i even say uh a fairly attractive young man and i don't i'm not i uh I'm saying that not in a creepy way, in the same way Joe Biden would say it, right? So I don't want that to come across awkward and creepy. I'm trying to instill some confidence in you because I know I struggled with that uh, in my life. So please, Mr. Nicholas, let me take this down so everyone can see. And yes, I am secure uh, in my non-binary queer activist role to say something like that, right? So uh, Nicholas, Peter, uh, or Jero, please take us out. Final words, whatever's on the forefront of your mind, if you want before that, and then final words, cause we haven't heard much. Before. Yeah, not a problem. I appreciate the, the, uh, the compliments. So thank you. Uh, I just, I'm just grateful to be on here. You know, I just don't try to talk over people. Just let people get their peace out. And, uh, you know, I try to not say anything unless I feel like it's going to be something insightful. So, uh, with towers, I know that he mentioned he was going to try to fake, his nose being broken if he's still on this stream at all i would advise him to not do that just based off of exactly what his neighbor was saying and what you were saying just being in like in principle and you know he's just doing the right thing by helping out his co-worker that ended up turning on him and he's got to understand just doing the right thing is going to lead to good positive opportunities in his life he's not going to get ahead by trying to game the system and just not be truthful just to make a quick buck for the uh for the time being it might help you out for the time being but in the long term that's not that kind of those actions are not going to be good for him so i would definitely recommend not saying that your nose is broken you know just try to find some sort of odd job here and there or you know i wish him the best of luck and i hope to see him back on here again it'd be great to talk with him 
Um, but uh, yeah, just final words. Um, I know that when I first came on here, someone was asking about the book that I was in the middle of bringing up. But uh, just like when uh, the neighbor was talking about just self-reflection in the morning, just, you know, being in silence, just being with your own thoughts. So like just the whole shadow work, trauma work, just, you know, figuring out yourself first and foremost before, you know, judging other people and, and uh, you know, you're basically battling yourself, you versus you, like you were talking about earlier. But uh, this gentleman, Odysseus Andrianos, uh, he just reached you know, out to me. I just me. want to stop you there for a second, right? And I don't mind you showing that, that, that being's work, quote unquote, yeah. but what you were just kind of saying there, as Chrissy pointed out in the sweet way that you deliver it, like a gentleman, a scholar, someone else says, um, every single book and scripture and whatever you're reaching for seems to echo what I'm putting forth. Is that what you're saying, uh, Nicholas, Peter, or Jero, almost leading us to believe that this is not my walk and my way, this is a walk and a way, some would say the walk and the way? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we have a new member, someone appreciates the value we're creating here, you're part of that. We appreciate you, Nicholas. I didn't mean to interrupt. Please continue. I just wanted to make some connections there without uh, leading you. Yeah, yeah, not, not a problem. Yeah, because uh, to go along with that, just um, well, it's not just like our perception or your perception. It's just like your truth that we're just following or anything like that. So like, I used to work at Aldi back in 2018, 2019. I was there for six months. First month or two in, I was seeing how much food was being wasted and I couldn't take any more of it. So long story short, I was dumpster diving from there. I never purposely broke anything knowing that I was going to be able to get it later. They just were throwing out perfectly good bananas, avocados, tomatoes, whatever else, a broken box of cereal, but the bag's still fine. So they're just wasting food. So I would, I would dumpster dive almost all the time. <laughs> I donated some, I composted some, I ate some. I ended up getting fired for it. I stood my ground. I told them legality doesn't equal morality. Perfect bananas. I love it. USA. And, USA. Uh, USA. 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 Yeah, like you said, no, well, one thing we don't do is we don't hand out uh, food that could go bad or is going bad because we might get sued. So we just immediately burn that and throw it away. Why would we want to feed people? Is that what you were saying? I tuned out because I heard bananas and, and Donnie, Chimp, just flashed through my mind. I'm sorry. Rude of me. Um, I'm fired up about the campaign and so are you because you started yelling USA. So, um, no, it's true. Please. I mean, why, why, why feed anybody with it? Might as well just let it just go somewhere where it's not going to be utilized at all. Not going to be able to go remineralize the ground, and so the worms can eat it, and you know you can help the topsoil out that's eroding. Don't worry. Yeah, it's fine. Don't think about it. Just do it because your boss told you to, and you're going to get fired if you don't. If you do try to save it, so you might as well just be in fear and you know keep your job and don't worry about it. Which was the case. I had a lot of uh, supervisors telling me that I need to stop doing it, but they completely agreed with me. They just don't want to get fired. They don't want to get in trouble. And I told them, well, you can tell the managers, do all that stuff. So then they ended up being told. I was being talked to. I told them the gal doesn't equal morality. It doesn't matter. I told them what I was doing with it. So they ended up firing me. I was getting my stuff and I told them, like, if you I mean, if you guys didn't fire me, I would have quit anyway because I don't want to work for someone like you because you're just good to follow the rules and not doing what's right. And I didn't have any job lined up. And then that day I talked to my brother who was working as a welder. I worked in that same job with them. I asked him if there was any openings. Oh, voila, I got a job. And if I was doing something wrong for all these months, all these months, I was supposedly stealing from them and it was illegal and I could get in, in trouble for that. Well, then why would something like this miraculous, like miraculously happen to me where I get another job where it's a uh, good, uh, good schedule. It's not opening and closing. I'm getting paid twice as much, all these benefits. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So it's just standing in principle and standing for what's right and not worrying about the 3D consequences. It's just doing it because it is the right thing to do. And you know that inherently within yourself. So you're not scared about what might happen because that's just short term stuff. I've had plenty of great opportunities open up for me just from doing the right thing. And I've seen it consistently happen. And I see it when I, I stray from that and I don't do something that's right. It kind of tends to bite me in the ass. And that's just it just is what it is. It's just having that intuition and just, you know, that foresight. But then also being able to look back and see patterns. How did I get to this point? Why am I in this situation? How many things was I supporting or actions that I was taking that I was justifying? So it's, um, yeah, it's not it's not your truth and it's not your movement or your way of looking at the world. It's just, you just came to that understanding and enough people like here that are watching came to that understanding and are realizing that and it just makes How sense. It is, you can right? apply it in your own life. The new segment is going to be called Just Correct, right? Uh, it, it's not my way, like you say. It's the way. It's just correct. 
folks are here to reveal that. Clearly, you are a born leader. The chat is a buzz. Uh, you are a part of the meteoric rise. Uh, you are one of the next uh, influencers. Okay, I'm gonna. I am going to call that right now. Uh, there's now another member. Another member. Uh, it's the same person. Same person is now a member twice. So they've gotten two memberships. They see so much value over here that they went and got two memberships. Uh, I couldn't have done that without you, of course. Um, please go ahead and give the folks where they can find you. Do you have any links that you want to put down there? I'm sure that you're creating something. You have a headset. Folks who have a headset, they're creating something. Right? Well, I paid Am 10 I bucks for this off of Facebook Marketplace. So anyway, I didn't ask you that. I asked you, are you creating something? Do you have a yes. platform? Do you have a broadcast? Oh, you do. You do. So you are doing something. You are creating something. How fascinating. Uh, can you please put a link? For all the folks out there because again the, the chat is a buzz they they see they recognize that you are a born leader in fact much as i have recognized it again uh what is is what is uh real recognize real um real eyes real lies the real lies as they say right that's good branding right when i use cliche phrases like that's good <laughs> branding so please go ahead put your links in the chat so folks can get over there check out what you're doing i look forward to co-creating with you because i think you had asked me to come over to whatever you're doing um, and yeah, I, I want to be a part of that because like they're, like they're saying, we're recognizing the same thing that you're on a path here. Uh, you're going to do, uh, some good things. I have a feeling you're going to make some changes, um, and you're going to respect yourself along the way and you're going to grow. And, uh, that's going to be an interesting process to be a part of, right? Either way to, 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 to behold, uh, but more importantly to co-create with. So again, I'm not a fan. I haven't seen what you do because I don't really follow, watch, wait, or hate. Uh, I will congratulate from time to time, which I am doing now, and I will co-create. So if you want to go ahead, um, uh, let me, I'm going to do, let's see if there's anyone in the back here, because here's what I want to do. I want to give you private chat right now. I'm going to give you my number. Um, uh, you are one of the chosen few who have my number. Please um, don't send me uh anything too crazy you know a lot of folks get crazy but yeah make sure that you let me know what's going on so we can get over there uh and, and create content that's what they call it they say that i'm a content creator now i was first an auditor uh then i was a theorist uh now i'm a content creator so there you have it uh hopefully there's no one back there uh, because again there's a lot of reprobates uh, not like yourself. Uh, they're very uh, disheveled, right? Very much like me, really. If we really want to get down to it, Nicholas, they're a lot like me, rough around the edges. They're a bit disheveled, a bit twisted, morbid sense of humor. Um, you don't want numbers going out to folks like that. I'm sure you're aware of how that works. So uh, I sent you my number. Hopefully it didn't go out to the public chat. No, it didn't. So yeah, please text me because I know, you, I think you messaged me, emailed me. Uh, a lot of times I don't get back to the messages and emails because there's a lot of stuff coming in day by day. I know Robin thinks only 46 people are watching, but no, a uh, bit more than that, probably 56, right? So um, with that said, please, final words, uh, Nicholas, hopefully you put that link down there for the other folks because they're asking what you're up to. Uh, and I think that it would be good for them to go over there. Uh, yeah, I, I, mean, I, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Like. Um... You know, like people, people, I've talked to people in person and they're like, oh my God, you're so smart. You know, so much, so many things. And I tell them, the first thing I tell them is I know a lot about a little, I know a little about a lot. So it's, I don't try to put myself on any sort of high horse. I'm just average guy. And, you know, I'm not like a huge deep dive researcher. I've kind of covered a lot of the shallow waters of certain topics, maybe a little bit deeper in other areas, but I did send a, I did post my link. It's a, like a link tree. So I have YouTube, BitChute, Odyssey, I'm on Facebook not really on float or mines because those are kind of like ghost towns. I don't really get any traction on there, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, I really do appreciate that. And yeah, I, I, I got your number from the private chat, so I'll, I'll definitely be reaching out to you. So I, I definitely appreciate that very much. And uh, yeah, I talk about shadow work. I just talk about, I have talked like my channel is just my name because I'm not hiding anything and it's my content kind of flows in and out. I've been doing a lot more interviews recently. So I've had on James Corbett, uh, now you Christian. weren't trying to now you weren't trying to take subliminal shots because I'm Paul Enslaved, of course. Uh, I'm the god of all media. I have to take on a moniker to do what I do in broadcasting. So that wasn't a subtle shot at me. Folks know my first and last name. My father's on here all the time. Uh, 
No, no. But I am in fact, yeah. afraid and hiding, right? That is true. I am afraid and hiding, as the man said the other day. But uh, no, I didn't. I didn't feel like you were talking about me. I'm sorry, Nicholas. Continue. <laughs> no, I wasn't talking about you at all. Um, but yeah, I talk. I talk about shadow work. I try to talk about like empowering things. I've had. I made videos about like my my porn addiction, my sex addiction, my gaming addiction. So, like, if people want to check that one out and see me start bawling my eyes out, that's a good video just to get to know me a little bit, a lot about my shadows. But yeah, I try to do empowering stuff. You know, it's just I try to find the niches that people aren't really talking about, incorporate the the things that I've learned from other creators, but then also provide my own type of spin on it, I guess, and just my own style. I don't try to copy anybody, but I do try to present myself pretty well. You know. Got a good oh, yeah, microphone, got a decent webcam. Um, people... Oh, what was that? Headset. Yeah, yeah. Just like a That's basic. The thing. I, know, I know someone's going places when I see the headset. That's what I said. So they're saying the same thing. They got the links. I didn't see them down there. Hopefully you, uh, it was just you the got them. So it was just a single one. Okay, yeah. I'm not, I don't think that I'm seeing it down there. So I don't know why I wouldn't see it. Uh, Let's try it again. So, yeah, if you folks, if you folks got it down there, uh, let me know if you got it or not. Because um, yeah, I always like to uh, give people a platform to co-create. Uh, it's not all about me. Uh, while I am the god of all media, as you know, Nicholas, it's not always all about me. Uh, we like to have, especially the young people um, who are active. And again, that's good content. Call it whatever you want. Right. And there's value in that talking about that kind of stuff. See, I would talk about my porn addiction, but I don't want to catch any more charges. Right. They might go through the search history and it gets crazy in there, Nick, as I'm sure, you know, so, uh, I don't go into that. Um, I got enough on my plate. Um, was that the final word or is there, Uh, do you have more for us? Well, just uh, based off of something you said earlier, when you're talking about how people come on with their, come onto your, like this platform and have their specific agenda and try to promote themselves. And my intention was not to do that sort of thing. When I was like in the chat and I first came on, the second time I came on, still being in the chats, like I didn't have that intention, but you're like, you put me right here in full screen and you're asking me these questions. You're asking me to put the links down and you know and i didn't i was that wasn't my intention so that's basically what you're talking about it's just not it's those things happen these things happen just by you know be just being yourself and not having those so what you're saying in your own way is had what's his name again his name always escapes me the man from yesterday remember that man's name i did i did watch that clip the 21 minute clip as well doesn't it I don't even, I don't think the name pops up yeah, in the video. Yeah, it's not very memorable. Uh, I think the man's name is Zach. Um, so yeah, I think what you're trying to say in your own way is had Zach come correct and and, and be an honorable representation of value, uh, not only would he not have to beg me in tantrum to be a part of what he's doing, I would almost force it upon him, as you've said here today. Like, I didn't make it all about me. You weren't even necessarily looking for that. Even if you were looking for that or not, you didn't, you weren't needy about it. So authentically organically everybody got what they wanted and needed uh one way or the other right and we didn't have to force or push good ideas don't require force right so it seemed like a good idea to me based on how you presented uh to give you more screen time more access to the viewers and they are also enjoying you so that's a pivotal part of how i make my decision right if the people are enjoying you and you're good on the camera and you have a flow Uh, and you're presenting some valuable information, then yeah, I'm gonna co-create with you. And if you're living it, more importantly, right? And you seem like you're living whatever you're speaking. So I'm a pretty good, believe it or not. I know I smoke a lot of weed and and theorize from time to time, but I'm a pretty good uh, judge of character, right? So um, again, don't let me interrupt you. Continue your final thought. If you wanna just go right back to the beginning, start all over, that's fine too. I've been very rude. Mood crude and rude. Um, well, uh, well, first I want to say that like your, your humor is spot on. You're super quick on your feet and it's, it's awesome. If you just did content where you're like, or whatever, you just like narrated or you just threw up some images that you're talking to go along with what you're saying. I don't even know, but you just, the way you like, just go about it. Like the guy uh, towers with the tattoos and just, you're talking about him getting older and they're going to fade and not look good. It's like, I wouldn't have even thought about that in the moment, but it was just, you're just really quick, quick witted. What is that? How you say it? 
Well, how we how how some folks have said is God of all media, right? I mean, you you might say quick witted, um, concise, um, but yeah, how how other folks obviously have said it is God of all media because again, like you say, I could pretty much. Um, I also have prepared much in the stylings of Brian O'Shea, uh, a little hippity hop rap, uh, Nicholas, and that I will uh, perform at some point because they've been asking me for some of that. So I wrote, you know, a couple bars down. Uh, because again, uh, it's beyond triple, quadruple threat. So what do you call it? I don't know, but they decided God of all media. So that's what I'm going with, right? I will take on uh, that title for the people, right? As long as the people bestow that title. And of course, the people can revoke that title at any time. Your thoughts? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's true. Well, everything you just said is so true. You're definitely the God of all media. That long broadcast you had, like you said, it's it's the best that's ever ha- been recorded. It's the best that's ever going to be recorded. So and longest too, longest in history, and arguably the best. Uh, again, that's what we do here. Um, it's honest work. Doesn't always pay well, right? I'm not, you know, but we have what we need, uh, and it's honest work, right? Someone's got to do it, right? Someone's got to uh, push Donnie Chimp, uh, you know, up and beyond, above and beyond into the stratosphere uh starting a new space force that's going to be the next series uh donnie chimp and the uh chimp force chimp space force i like that idea it just came to me now this is how we create on the fly it's like that like you said we're on the ball here uh the yeah. magic's happening so uh please final words i know i keep saying it but i just can't let you go like that song back again i'm showing my age i just can't let you go i really want to be with you I got to be a slave with you. It's like that guy yesterday, right? He was singing that song to me in a different way. He's like, Paulie, I really want to be with you. I got to be real with you. I can't be alone. Sorry, Nick. Sometimes I go, I get carried away. Uh, the reefer gets to me. I just start expressing myself through song. I got a song in my heart, right? I'm, I'm marching to the beat of my own drum, but something's working somewhere sometimes for some folks. You Please. know you can sing better than that. You really got to just dig down deep. Use that diaphragm and... Let it out. Just really let it out. Okay, well, what we're going to have tomorrow is in the stylings of uh, Chimp Greenwood, right? Chimp Greenwood, uh, much like Lee Greenwood, our own rendition, so we don't get hit with copyright. Uh, Chimp Greenwood is going to come in and sing um, God Bless the U.S. Ape. Uh, so you'll 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 hear that. Um, and, and hopefully that will be... Um, an exuberant performance, right? They'll be they'll be the crescendoing the whole deal. Uh, really, uh, he he, not me, him, Chimp Greenwood. He's going to put his all into that. Hopefully, if he's up to it. Uh, please, final thoughts. Uh, yeah, um, I just want to say thanks again. But um, yeah, for people that are interested, no in need to thank me in public, Nicholas. Huh? Let me stop you there and go ahead and give the channel. No need to thank me in public, please. Don't embarrass me. Right. Um, One thing I don't do is take credit in public for all the great work that I do. Other people do that. So I didn't tell you to say that. Um, But please, no need to thank me over and over again profusely. Uh, I know that I'm a great man, patriot and hero. uh, And I just I do what I do to keep everyone safe. So um, please don't thank me in public. It's very embarrassing to me. It never feels quite right. Thank you, sir. Um, Yeah, you got it. Um... (laughs) But yeah, for people that are, if people are going to go on my YouTube channel, there's a lot of interviews that I have done that are, that I've edited and made them better. And I put them on BitChute because it has like music in the background and YouTube doesn't like that sort of thing. So I have a lot of edited and improved videos on my BitChute channel. So like the James Corbett one, if anyone's interested in that one, I spent like 15 hours editing that thing. So don't watch it on YouTube, but like some of the, like I do try to do live streams on YouTube, Facebook. Uh, Twitter, but then I'm here to put you do, right? I'm going to put you on to some game now with just my perspective. I'm not telling you what you should or shouldn't do, but what we do have a testimonial down below. Jambo just became a member a few moments ago and says, Wow, my mental and physical health has improved amazingly since I joined. Thank you. Now, of course, I didn't tell him to say that. That is, again, live action, much like in the stylings of Joel Osteen and the like. Uh, First hand testimonial. Uh, the man or the woman says, Within minutes, within minutes, much like uh, Jesus Cristo uh, in the scriptures, the being has mentally, physically, uh, in all in all shapes, form, and fashion, 
has improved almost instantly. Some would say instantly. So that is a miracle. Uh, uh, praise Jeebus. Thank you, Jembo, for becoming a member. And you've immediately gotten the $3 a month value back uh, and then some. So again, probably want to send more money, buy more products because the amount of value that's being created up here is insurmountable, right? It really, there is no recompense uh, that can equalize the amount of value that's being put out. And I'm okay with that. I don't ever expect to be paid back fully, uh, but we can darn sure try, can't we? And buy those Patriot prophylactics. Isn't that right, Nicholas? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't actually get Patriot Pantry at all. Uh, just based on those ingredients, I go to like a website, uh, Numana, N-U-M-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. At least they have a lot fewer ingredients. It's it's way better than Patriot Pantry or whatever Harvest, whatever they're called. So no thanks. I don't. I wouldn't buy Patriot Pantry. I'd rather eat that if I was going if I was starving, you know. But I wouldn't personally recommend it. Or I, and I wouldn't watch X22 report. I wouldn't watch SGT report. I used to watch them no longer. No thanks. Well, you're, so you, what you just did, I, I got distracted. You're shooting shots up here. You came up here, uh, much like myself. I will from time to time. You just let it all hang out right there. See, Nicholas has another side to him. He's shooting shots. He says, don't go here. Don't go there. Uh, these people are low lives. We kind of like that sort of fighting spirit, right? You're calling people out. You're holding people accountable. Uh, you're living it um you know what else can be said that hasn't already been said that's my way of saying that i want to get out of here at this point nicholas final words please um just everyone i have no idea uh just do what you find fulfilling you know let's prep mentally physically spiritually let's exercise let's just get our feet in the bare feet in the ground let's do things that are rewarding for ourselves like i personally like you're saying like i got my stuff together i don't i don't really i still have a lot of stuff i gotta work on I'm not perfect. I'm, you know, I got a lot of things I got to be more consistent on, like organizing and just doing uh, more content creation, more editing, just, uh, and just the way I operate on a day to day basis, I can definitely be better. So uh, everyone's got to keep uh, like prepping, get some food, get some water, uh, do, do some dumpster diving. Definitely dumpster dive. Go to Aldi, please, dumpster dive. You're going to find a lot of good stuff there. Um, I'm taking this supplement. It's called Shilogy. I mentioned it in the comments. You can use it for gardening. You can use it with your pets. You can use it for yourself. It's got 85 minerals in it. Fulvic and humic acid, which both of which have multitude of benefits. I, I guess you can say I'm shilling, but I, I am a customer of... Yeah, I'm going to have to stop you right there. Uh, if you're not going to direct people to amaslave.com to purchase all of my products, I can't have you up here pushing some conspiracy theories. Hey, I checked that website. It does, there's no website that, that is called amaslave.com. I tried already. I was gonna buy some couple t-shirts and a few mugs, but it wasn't happening, Kevin. All right, so again, I don't own that website. Just a disclaimer, I don't actually own amaslave.com. Um, folks got confused on that too. They went looking for the Patriot prophylactics. I'm not gonna lie to you, Nicholas, it's not really there. It's not really there. You're never supposed to, you're never supposed to reveal your secrets and tricks, but much like that magician, again, I'm showing my age, they used to have this series on TV. They'd bring a magician on, but he'd be wearing a very odd, disconcerting mask. Yes. And he would what just, was that called? So everyone had to do every single magic trick in history, and I'm sure that's why he had to wear a mask, because immediately the magician gang put a hit out on him. How dare he destroy a whole livelihood, as I'm doing up here, revealing all of our tips and tricks and hacks, right? I should not be doing that. Uh, they're going to come for me. The broadcast gang is going to come for me and put a hit out on me. Uh, if you see them, warn a brother, right? That's another. Uh, I'm doing references, nostalgic references. Remember the shirt back in the 90s? If you see the police, warn a brother, and then it would be the Warner Brothers symbol. You don't remember that, do you? Before your time. All right, well, well I'm going to let you know. I, am. I don't, but you, see, you have a very youthful appearance. Go ahead and tell everybody how old are you. Are you within the Ooh. 18 to 25 range? Because no. if not, if no. If you play that little poppy music you played, what was it, yesterday or earlier today, and have people vote and guess how old I am, I love that game. <laughs> okay, so we're three hours and 20 minutes in. Nicholas wants to play games, and I'm all for it, only because he's <laughs> honorable. Usually, I'd throw him right out of here and probably insult him on the way out. But let me go ahead. Let me get some music. Uh, Ooh, Nicholas 17. has earned it. That is awesome. Thank you, Minnie Mouse. Nicholas has earned it. Hold on. Thank you, Jimbo. I appreciate it.
Is that good? Is that good counting age music? That's pretty good. So it's yeah, like, I mean, if you want to go ahead, dance music, it's like Seal. Yeah, the new wave is like OnlyFans. So if you want to go ahead for the female viewers, the non-binary folks, big day dams out there, uh, feel free. You know, uh, promote yourself if you got it, flaunt it. Uh, all right, the, the the votes are coming in. The tally's coming in. Uh, Fifteen. You're 15 years old, according to some folks, and that guy might want to sniff you. So uh, stay away from us. You're not into that. If you're into that, uh, have at it. We don't judge. Can you hear me, Nicholas? Am I coming in clear over the music? Yes, you are. Okay, perfect. So this is a great system, working flawlessly, effortlessly. Oh, yeah, so this uh, is the wants streamyard to... music, right? So you just go to, like, the, uh, like, on the right side, right? And you just... Yeah, but see, again, this is fourth wall. You don't want to reveal the tips and tricks. Uh, you don't want to tell them we're on StreamYard and that, that there's a selection of music there. Um, well, I use, I use StreamYard, know. so sorry about that. That's the DJ, the right? That's my DJ. Um, send more money because he's looking kind of thin. Uh, he's on a lot of Molly, right? A lot of the young kids nowadays, they're on that Molly. Uh, he's not eating much because folks are not buying as much Patriot product, so he's kind of withering away. But he still has Molly, and he's playing some good music, and we love him. So definitely not StreamYard, music, computer, music selection area. Uh, the votes are, it's, it's, it's flooding in. It's flooding in. They love Nicholas. They want to be part of the game. Uh, Jembo says 27. Flying says 23. Abnorm right. 32. 22. 16 to 19, uh, 29, Mike Freeman says 29, Alexander 26. All right, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and stop the music. You're going to guess right. If I you guess it, you're going to guess it right. I guarantee it. If I guess it? Yeah, if you guess it, you're going to guess it right, I bet. I don't know, because you have a deceptively useful look about you. Much well, look like, at my hairline. My hairline's kind of going down. Much so like Shatan, the shapeshifter, you might be one. You might just be really good at presenting yourself. You might actually be one of them uh, Luciferian shapeshifters. I haven't made up my mind yet, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, 30 years old. That's my final answer. How'd you get it right? <laughs> so you actually are 30 years old? Yeah, August 15th, 1992. Yeah. Okay, so we Maybe didn't rehearse that. Right. Uh, you must have seen my bio or watched one of my videos or something like that. I don't know how the hell you did it. No, I <laughs> just, again, I'm I'm an expert profiler. Uh, it's why the, the folks have, have dubbed me the god of all media, because in order to do what I have to do, I have to maintain a connection uh, with not only the audience, but with the folks who come on here. And uh, the way that I do that is through presence and self-knowledge. And, and I'm just uh, fairly clairvoyant, as you saw with the man yesterday so something led me the spirit led me uh that's just what came out i'm a little surprised as you are but again uh that's how this goes right uh, yeah, if everything's absolutely. working perfectly then that's what should have happened so um again i've healed the sick here today uh i've guessed your age uh right on the money um you know do with that what you will uh they say that by doing these kind of parlor tricks some would call it supernatural uh, um, feats, but others say parlor tricks. By doing these parlor tricks, folks say that I'm trying to equate myself uh, to Jesus. They say that I think I'm a reincarnation of Jesus. I, of course, wouldn't say that, but folks are left to make up their own decision. Much like other platforms, I don't ever say anything or not say anything. I just leave the decision up to you after I repeat what other people say. So, um, please, Nicholas, uh, final thoughts. Um, yeah, people are just uh, saying how I look so young. Well, first off, I've always looked young. I've always had a baby face. I it didn't work well when I was in school because people wanted younger or older looking people, but people always knew it was going to work for, out for me in the, in the long run. I can't grow a beard to save my life, so it stays this way all the time. I, I've been using coconut oil for years. That's been great. Avoiding chemicals for a long time. I've been doing my own gardening. Uh, I've made my own products, whether it's soap, deodorant, lip balm, toothpaste, all that stuff. So we're going to work more together with all that stuff. But here's a new idea I have for you, right? Um, we get you together with Chris Hansen or I become the new Chris Hansen because, of course, I am the god of all media as dubbed by the people. Uh, I can take on the role of a Chris Hansen. And since you can't, can't grow facial hair, we can just try to trap the cabal. We can use you 
like fresh fruit. We'll throw you out there like Chris Hansen used to throw those those folks who were supposedly overage, uh, but they look very young. Uh, we'll put you on the phone and see if we can trap. You know what? The Nationals, the, uh, some, not all of them, right? I don't want to speak down. There's a lot of great folks in every group, but some of the Nationals, uh, and some of these other folks. There's a lot of folks on this movement now. So in order to trap Joe Biden and the rest of the cabal, we might, again, in the stylings of Chris Hansen, catch a predator. I will put the suit on. I will do it for the people. I don't want to do it. It's not my look, but I will do it for the people. Uh, of course, they have to send more money. That's always a prerequisite. But I will don the suit and I will hide in the corner and I will hang you uh, off the side of the flat earth as bait uh, to trap the cabal and save the world, right? Because I think that if they see your young and fresh looking face, uh, we can get them trapped in a box and stop all this, get them over to Guantanamo. Like remember the evergreen uh, uh, container ship? Uh, we can trap them if we put you, that's what, okay. It's all coming together. This is live action stuff, folks. You can't get this anywhere else. Your favorite Patriot doesn't do the decodings I do, okay? Doesn't lay out solutions like I do. So we're gonna get the evergreen container uh, uh, ship Right. You may, you remember that Nicholas, do you remember the evergreen container ship or am I talking over everyone's head? Cause if you know, you know, you remember that? I remember you talking about that. Like when you were mentioning the magician with the mask, I want to remember. Okay, I so know know. So you know. okay, so you don't know. But I do not know. The evergreen. Not know. Okay. Oh, wait, so yeah, those evergreen thing. containers. Yes, I do know those, but the crappy lids that never really stayed shut. Yes. Yeah. 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 But there was a whole thing there where they say that the cabal was being shipped over to Guantanamo on a container ship. Oh yeah. Uh, they had everybody trapped on there and there was a whole bunch of, uh, code going on. So we're going to hang you. We're going to tie you up uh, on the inside of one of those containers uh, hanging like all the way in the deep end of it. Right. So that like a rabbit or, or, or like, actually, no, not a rabbit, like a wolf, a wolf. The cabal is like a wolf. They're going to come sniffing around uh, looking for a fresh faced young child to do uh, God knows what with. And then they're going to go in there and find you. And then we're going to trap them in there. Now, what they're going to do when they get in there with you and we trap them in there with you, I'm not too sure yet, right? We didn't get the cue drop on that yet, but I'm sure you're willing uh, to sacrifice yourself for the cause, uh, for all the great Americans, patriots, and heroes out there doing little to nothing. Uh, you are the chosen one. So we're immediately going to get on that. I will hide outside in a suit and I will do the, the broadcast portion and I will trap them and then I will come out much like Chris Hansen and say, uh, we have them. Here they are again. We have the logs. I'll talk to him through a little porthole in the container. And I'll say, sir, you're here to meet uh, a very young looking 30 year old uh, Nicholas Peter Ojiro. We have you. Uh, we're gonna, now going to send you to Guantanamo and they will look stunned. It will be the best content ever. Uh, my mind is is going wild. Sorry, uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh, this is how creative mind works. Uh, some say it's a blessing. Uh, others say a curse. Uh, I'm not interested. I'm having fun. So final words, please, Nicholas. All right. I'm just going to just say a couple things. And I'm going to get myself off because you're not going to let me off, I guess. <laughs> but, you know what? Uh, That's a great idea. Why don't you go ahead and do that? Yes, I will do that. So just really quick. So if people want to know how to say my name. It's uh, if you can even see it. Ah, there we go. It's uh, yeah, you can't see it. Whatever. It's you, Jero. So you've been really close with it because you've been making the G a J. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's you, Jero. The R is silent. But uh, for people that are having a hard time pronouncing that thing, that's what it is. But yeah, that's actually a great idea doing the whole catch a predator. That's a very good idea. Maybe not so much the yeah. container and shipping it off to Guantanamo and having a little porthole. But overall, I think that's a pretty good idea. Well, see, so you don't really trust the plan, right? If you really trusted the plan, you would stay in the container oh, uh, with, with, with the cabal and you'd ride it out, right? Good like point. Ilian Gonzalez, right? Remember when Ilian Gonzalez floated over on a tire, right? He stuck it out. Uh, he was really for America, unlike you. So yeah. if you're really going to be for America and stick it out, you get trapped in the container. Uh, I will monitor the situation, of course, with a camera on the inside. So you'll, you will you will know that you're safe because there'll be a camera in the corner, right? Um, yes, sir. And you can try it out till we get to Guantanamo. Then, um, you know, when, once we get there, we'll let everyone out and we'll, we'll, we'll proceed. Uh, and again, this is sort of the risk you take doing this kind of work, right? I've done this similar work in the past, uh, not the part being put in the container, but just kind of standing outside, um, talking through the porthole, interviewing, 
uh, the predators on the inside that get trapped in there with you or folks like you. Uh, we're not too sure what happens on the way over. We don't really ever see the body again. But um, again, this, this is about service to all the folks out there doing little to nothing. So uh, Q will appreciate that. Uh, the folks out there will appreciate that and we'll get some good content and that's what the american dream's about you will cement your legacy uh as the 30 year old uh catch a cabal uh young boy bait right young boy catch a cabal bait uh that's that listen uh you could be as someone called me paulie shore right your legacy could be cemented as just being paulie shore so that's like at least two to three steps up no yeah, it's more than just a, a little silly nickname. It's actually, you know, action that's being taken, just like you're not doing, besides smoking the most blunts on a live stream. That's it. So you get it. All right. So yeah. I think we all get it. Uh, I'm going to let you go. Because like Final, you said, no, you got no, it. Hold on a second, Paul. Final thoughts from you, and then I'm going to let you go. Okay? Oh, my. You know what? You, I'm, I'm stunned. I'm, I'm almost speechless. I'm almost speechless. Uh, you, you, you've taken on such a leadership and active role here that now you've turned the tables. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to do. I'm shocked. I'm appalled, right? When I'm appalled, it's, it's spelt with a U. Uh, so let me say this. I don't know how you're going to let me go because you don't have control of the stream yard. Is there a way you can take control? Can I give you control? You're honorable enough that I would actually relinquish control to you right now. My brother I don't, is I'm really good at IT. If you just give me a couple minutes to message him and see what I can do, I oh I, Kevin, sure Kevin, magic. yeah, that middle the Middle Eastern guy, Kevin, who keeps calling my phone saying that uh he's gonna send me a link to take over my devices even though I don't have a computer. He says that something's wrong with my computer. So I'm sure that's the same man. Uh I immediately did what he said because again I follow. Uh, he was talking about safety. He said a few things. I heard safety. Um, he used the word virus, computer virus, of course, that got me uh, unnerved. So I went ahead and did everything he said. And uh, since then, my devices have been locked and half my bank account's gone. But uh, that also might be the Nigerian prince who uh, sent me a really great opportunity uh, on how I can inherit a whole bunch of money to my email. So again, we're learning and growing here. Please, final thoughts, because I can't do final thoughts and then do it that way. I'd love to but there's no way out of this. Uh, we have to do it the old fashioned way. So, um, and again, the, the uh, Connecticut School of Broadcasting uh, would only appreciate that. So please, final thoughts, and then I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna take us on home. Cause also I need an intimate moment uh, with me and the viewers. Yes, it's always absolutely. special, right? Yeah. So I guess the most important thing that I can say to anybody right now would be, okay so uh i'm not too sure if he did that uh purposely if not uh that was amazing <coughs> synchronistic um either way great great material nicholas <coughs> great introductory performance although you've been here before i think that that was your that was your entree that was your shining moment the folks will never forget that again i broke another star here today it's what i do um we wear many hats it's a royal we when i say we i mean i uh, i'm happy to do it um yeah we're moving we're we're shaking we're we're on a moving train right uh breaking stars putting folks before we have a new member we have a new member uh again Thunder Chicken becomes a YouTube member because they, not I, say that there's some value being created here. They want to be a member of the community, of the family, right? Like they say on the platforms, this is a Patriot family. Uh, it's important to join the family, be a member. So uh, it only costs you, like this family has very low expectations. It only costs you $3 a month to become part of the family right now. Uh, imagine if little Pepito, little Pepito, the maker of Patriot, um, Pito's Patriot Coffee Blend. Imagine if he had the opportunity to join a family for only $3 a month. Yes, he would have to work for a couple of years to save up that $3, but when he did, uh, he would be very thankful and grateful. So I urge you to take on the same sentiment Pepito would, uh, become a member of the family, right? Uh, little dry begging here and there, as they say, never hurt anybody. We have some pretty sharp folks here. They don't tend to uh, do things that they're not really all in on. So I'm not worried about it. 
Um, and that's why also I don't ever, ever, ever tell folks to send money or buy products because they know to do that on their own, right? Um, the only reason I ever bring that kind of stuff up is because people are clamoring for it. Uh, it's hopping off the shelves uh, and they want to know where they can get more. So I just kind of remind everyone, right? So uh, I appreciate everyone. As always, we couldn't do this without you. I mean, we could, but it wouldn't exactly have the same feel to it. It would, you know, uh, broadcast can look a lot like mental illness if no one shows up, right? Something to remember. This is out of the book of life, right? If I was to write a book, uh, one of the pages would contain everyday uh, practical life advice. Uh, one man's broadcast is another man's mental illness, right? And, and again, the deciding factor is, are folks showing up? Do they like what's being said? Uh, is there value being created on some level? So that's happening. It's happening. It's being validated. Uh, as odd as it may seem in my bizarre own way, uh, I am creating value while enjoying myself. What a fascinating concept that I could uh, inform, inspire, many things, many hats we wear, break stars, do many things over here, wear, wear many hats, and also... And also, and also, sometimes I loop. It's that good reefer. Got to watch out for that. Um, and also enjoy myself, right? So uh, that's the win, win, win. Someone asked earlier, what's the core message? Well, that's one of them. There's many here. One of them is continue to co-create in an inspired fashion. Do what you love to do, what you enjoy doing that brings value to you and others, that keeps you and others inspired. You can get yourself into that position as I have created and gotten myself into it's taken a while I was in a hole for a while but uh, we've dug out and we're not digging again right so uh, onward and upward meteoric rise along with Nicholas uh, Urgero uh, to fame and fortune to get on the stage uh, with with such big names as a bad baby Daniel Bergoli and uh, uh, the Kardashians giving speeches at, at all the institutions one day if we try really hard and we get really influential with the people's help uh you know we can have some conversations with these folks we can mix it up uh maybe just find our way into oxford right speaking to the young ones although i'm sure uh i wouldn't have very much to say uh, i definitely would not come close to the eloquent eloquence see i'm already mumbling and stuttering it would just never work uh i will never measure up to the likes of Elon Musk, uh, Danielle Bergoli, Kardashians, and all the other heroes and idols uh, getting all the gigs, speaking everywhere, because these folks are, of course, uh, enlightened, empowered individuals uh, speaking from the wisdom that they uh, live, applying the knowledge uh, of self and understanding. Of course, I, I am just a conspiracy theorist who, of course, smokes weed in a truck. Uh, I'm very unsuccessful and that's the way it should be, right? That's the way it should be. It keeps everyone else safe uh, from me, me safe from them. Again, when you come here, you're getting Shrek. I love this analogy. Came to me the other day, uh, you know, from over a cloud, right? Maybe a month back. I don't know how long it's been, but a uh, month or so maybe back. I am in fact the ogre like Shrek creature on the edge of town, confused by the townspeople. Sometimes they come after me. One thing is always assured when you do this thing, though. <clears throat> you will always be followed by a donkey or a jackass, right? And you've seen a few examples of those. We've seen a few examples of those. Sometimes we switch characters and I play that one. Uh, it's all good. It's all love. <coughs> Continue to co-create with purpose and meaning in your life, within yourself research seek truth true enough but bring that from your inner space into your outer space leave the outer space alone the outer outer space right focus on the inner space bring that to your outer space leave the stars and the planets alone in space for us we don't need to go there we got enough uh issues grounding right here staying grounded and dealing with ourselves and the planet we're on and getting that together so uh yeah i'm gonna let you folks go George R. Bank, Phil Indeblanc, Montana, Kevin Hendricks, new member, Thunder Chicken, Mr. C, Soul Reed, all of the fine folks, some would say 
deplorables, uh, I think was one of the terms used. <clears throat> so we'll be back tomorrow because, uh, again, repetition is the husk of habituation. Habituation is the component of success, one of the components of success. So uh, we continue to co-create, replicate, uh, emulate the most high and we habituate, right? We create habits <clears throat> in our lives that get us to where we want to go. So we'll be back nine to 12 tomorrow morning and then we'll come back, do it again as always. Nighttime stream, we'll, we'll undo the top two buttons. Uh, we lean back a little bit. Uh, Al Bundy style. I'm showing my age again. We put our hand in our pants and uh, we get a little crazy. You know, we get a little rough around the edges. Let me click the light back on. Live action. Uh, yeah. Stay blessed. Stay inspired. Stay free. In the mind and heart. <clears throat> mind and heart first. Uh, I'm out. Oh,